Hello YouTube, Maddox1 here, and unfortunately I haven't been able to upload any videos recently due to the amount of space left on my computer, seeing as I've used up pretty much 3 terabytes. So, today, tutorial on how to get infinite moves and boosters. I'm not sure about the boosters yet, but you can get infinite moves easily on Candy Crush um, in one level. And how you do this is you need Candy Crush, obviously, and you also need Cheat Engine as shown here. So Cheat Engine 6.3 is the one I'm using, I'm not sure what the most updated one is. I'll link um, the Cheat Engine download website in the description if you need it. If you don't, uh, it's an incredibly fun thing to mess around with. You can edit the score or um, things on pretty much any website. On Tickled, for example, I edited the Snake High Scores and now I may or may not have the highest high score. Um, and it does absolutely no harm to your computer. I've also used it on Starbound, Cube World, various other things. Um, so how it works basically is you choose a level that you want to do. I'm going to choose a level. Oops, scrolled accidentally. I'm going to choose a level which I have done already previously. And to do that, I'm going to have to go back quite far. Um, choose one around here. Maybe 30s. Okay, 30. Perfect. I'm choosing one that's reasonably difficult so I can show you the extent. So you're going to want to start a level. Um, it'll show your moves in the top. You want to keep record of what it says there. And then you'll go in here, File, or rather click this button here to open a new process. And the process list, it is always the, or for me and every other person I've helped, it's always the second Flash Player plugin one. You open this. If you can't find that, you can go to a window list and then you can find Candy Crush Saga on Facebook, however I prefer the process list. And then once you open it, you'll have um, this. Ignore this for now. So new scan, or first scan as it will be, you put in the number of moves that you have. And it will scan for it. It will find literally 6,000 values, so that doesn't help much. So you go back into Candy Crush, make a move and then the moves will decrease to 59 so you will type in 59 and next scan and then it will scan if you might have to do this again by moving and then 58 scan but it keeps the previous scan and there's only one value that changed from 60 to 59 and that therefore is the moves value so you double click to add it down to here or alternatively right add selected address to the address list because down here right click change record and then value and now it allows you to change it to whatever I want. So say if I wanted 150 moves, there you go. It changes it automatically on the app as well as on your screen. And since it's local hosted or with your client, not with the actual server when you actually start a game. If anything is hosted with a server, um, say Minecraft, you cannot edit in-game things. However, you can on Roblox as well. So pretty much now I'm just going to complete the level. Um, as fast as I can just to show you that it actually genuinely works. You can see my moves decreasing as they properly should and this level I simply have to bring, th bring down three of each. It shouldn't be too difficult, I just have to get a little bit of combo starting. If there is a lot of lag it is pretty much due to the fact that I'm recording and trying to run Candy Crush and have infinite windows open at the same time. I've closed quite a few of these windows, hope it helps. Yeah, it helps a little. I don't usually lag, I usually have perfect frame rate, pretty much. Um, however, when this is done, I will unpause when it's almost complete, um, so that you guys can see the finished product. If you don't believe me, uh, I'll leave the comment section open so people can post whatever they want, and I hope that this helps you, although I would not advise using this too many times, seeing as your friends will see your high scores and deduce that you're cheating. Also, if you're going to reveal this to anyone, please make sure that they would trust you and know that you wouldn't cheat. Uh, I shall unpause when I have completed the level. There we are. Unfortunately, this took quite a few many more uh, moves than I would hope for. However, I have now completed the level. And as you can see, my moves are 86. And since this is a recipe level, it will automatically turn turn these into stripes. However, it does it for one every four moves or something, something like that. 
I have had it before where it's turned the entire board and then it literally destroys your computer. But, uh, whilst you're recording at least. But there you go, level completed. I got a ridiculously high score, 353,000, much higher than anyone else. And that is how you get seemingly infinite rewards on Candy Crush. I'm going to see if I can find a level with a bomb on it and test to see if an actual bomb is affected by the um, countdown, uh, by the editing as well. Anyways. So the level that I've picked out here has a singular bomb, and it's a move level. The cautious thing about doing this on move levels is um, you will have to play out all the remaining moves and objects. So I'm going to start on new scale, it's exactly the same process to try and find this, so the bomb has nine left, so I'm going to scale to nine. Then I will make a move and the bomb will automatically tick down one. I will then scale for eight, and it's found a few values, so what I'm going to have to do is make another move. Now here you can occasionally see a few values will change to seven. However, I am going to scale to seven to get rid of those other values. I'm going to do it to six again. Aha, so all three of these values represent the bomb from what I can deduce from this. I need to get rid of the other value as well. And hopefully I should be able to change these values to 10. Yep, there you go, change the bomb's timer. I can change the bomb's timer to, let's say, 8 if I wanted to. And it will just come up as a sort of glitch. So I wouldn't recommend that. However, you can change it to 99 and it will still show 99. There are plenty of things you can do with this on Candy Crush. So another bomb comes on. If I didn't destroy it instantly, I could show you that I could change the timer again. However, for now, literally there's nothing stopping me just completing this level apart from the fact that I actually have to get score. It's not too difficult, though. As far as I've found, this can work with boosters, but I have tried before and it didn't work fantastically. I think I may have just done something wrong. So right now I'm just getting as many points as I can. Destroying all the chocolate. I could simply... Actually, that's an idea. Just to end the level quickly, I scale for 19. I make my scale. Scale for 19. It finds a few. Move one. Check the value changed. Right one. So I can add it. Change the record to one. There you go. Actually, I would love to change the record to three because I wish to show you something else as well. Sorry, this video is getting long. But I can now scale for 13,860. Move something. And then scale for 13,920. But I haven't got it yet. 13,920. Now there's three values that change some values, as you can see. So these three represent the score. So I can change all three of these. So the target, I completely forgot what that is, but not till I have 40,000, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it to 100 now. So random numbers. I want to make sure it ends on 20, so it's actually a legit. There you go. Instant three scales because I changed the score. And I've created a minus two, so it ends first. You can really mess up this game if you wanted to. There you go. There are no repercussions to this from what I've found. I have not used it to cheat on my current levels in my previous ones, and I have not set any ridiculously scores other than accidental what these. Thank you for watching, I hope this helps. I shall be trying to get you to level 80. Bring me so that we can test um, how it works on level. Thank you very much for watching, bye.